again. First and foremost, this entire chamber and everything you see here is 100% powered by the sun with the battery Evo Komoda 100 kilowatt hour battery on tank tracks. And we have about, I say this is about eight or nine kW of solar panels here. And so this entire machine is off grid. So to start, we need to load plastic into the machine. And As you can see from the camera footage inside the reactor chamber and of course from the sight glass you can see that we have plastic now falling into the main reactor chamber. We have the blades in the main reactor chamber on moving this plastic down. Since I have a valve that isolates both of these chambers when the machine is on and the machine is under vacuum I'll be able to load in plastic into this chamber, close off all the valves to this chamber pull a vacuum on this chamber before I open the valve to the main reactor so that way the pressure is the same between both of them. So, But what happens to the plastic once it's in this main chamber? Great question. So once the plastic is in this main chamber, we have a total of eight active magnetrons. Magnetrons are these right here. These are in every microwave oven. These produce 2.45 gigahertz microwaves. The same microwaves that you use in your oven at home is they break down the plastic in this environment that has no oxygen. No air is in this chamber. It's under vacuum. So the plastic when is microwaved is not going to catch on fire or make smoke instead it actually is going to break down and return it to the vapor of what plastic is and plastic is made of petroleum so it returns it into a petroleum vapor that petroleum vapor then reaches up to here to where these pipes are and then you see this is a deflamigator in there all those holes shotgun condenser high surface area that petroleum vapor will cool down going through these pipes as it cools down it's going to condense just like how a cloud condenses and turns into rain or like you see here on the top of my water chiller condensation it's going to condense the oils out of that petroleum vapor that petroleum vapor is no longer plastic it undergoes a permanent chemical change of pyrolysis where it is returned into essentially crude oil now some of these vapors are permanent vapors they will never turn to liquid again and those vapors are natural gas and high pressure plastic made natural gas into all of these tanks i have here that i can use to then run my refiner which refine that plastic crude oil into plastiline, plastidiesel, plastic kerosene.